Okay, I am back. Uh, just a little FYIs. Like right now I have bronchitis. Um, the urgent care, well, at least the urgent care is in Toledo, do take appointments. I don't know how many, I don't know if they all do, but I know some of them do. Um, so there's really not a reason that you can't go to see a doctor. Um, with the weather changing, people are going to get sick and bronchitis as it's going to act up. Um, and that's when you need to take care of yourself. Um, and if you haven't got the shot, I mean, I got the shot and I was scared, but I did get the shot. So, um, see how it goes. The sun is going to be setting at 521. So it's going to be light for a little while. So, anyways, um, you just got to be careful. And as I said, um, they do have, uh, urgent cares are taking appointments. So that is a good thing. Um, you want to stay away from hospitals. It's a huge long wait. And, um, yeah, that's, I mean, like, long hours. And you don't want to do that. If you can help it, you don't want to do that. So, you just keep hydrated. You can still get dehydrated in the fall and in the winter. I have done it before, not on purpose. I was dehydrated in December, years back, and I had to sit for six hours in the emergency room while they rehydrated me. Not fun. So, anyways, that's one of the things that happens. Um, still need to drink water, still need to drink fluids. Beer, it's not considered a, well, it's a fluid, but it's not considered one to keep you hydrated. Um, oh, wow. That's pretty open. That is pretty open. Um, and uh, alcohol is not con alcohol is considered a fluid, but not a fluid to keep you hydrated because alcohols will absolutely take away all of your hydration. They will take away your hydration. They make you feel like you're warm when you're not. Um, and uh, and that's how it is. Um, so. And I think for this year, I think for Thanksgiving, I'm going to get myself some food, and I'm staying at home. I'm going to, unless I get a chance to work a triple time, I'm going to stay home. I'm just going to relax. And that's it. I'm not going to do anything. I've been working a lot, and I think I need to take a break. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, if I get an opportunity to make triple time, I will work on the holiday. That's not a problem. Look at that. It's much, much brighter from what I'm looking at it than the phone. But look at all that pile. The pile of wood. By the oak wilt. White oaks are moderately resistant. But red, black, and pin oaks will unfortunately die within a single season. Fed by root grafts that form underground between adjacent trees. The spores of an infected tree can also spread to an existing wound on a healthy tree by sap feeding beetles over land. So basically, it doesn't really matter. There's always something that's trying to take something away. And that's why people have to be a little more. People have to be a little more diligent. We have to care about things. We have to, you know, we have to take care of the land. If we don't take care of the land, who's going to take care of the land? So, we have to take care of the land. Because, as you can see, what happened, I mean, it was the ash, emerald ash borer. And then we had the, um, uh, those little snail things or whatever. I was going to say musk oxen. That's not around here. <laughs> At all. Um, and, um, uh, it's those little zebra mussels that, that mess, made a big old mess too. So everything's just, things are just getting messed up in the, the, the seasons definitely are, are a mess. But, so I, I'll walk back here and see what I can see. 
because then by that time I get back to the other way, it should be about time for it to be getting dark and I can see the house. I mean, I could probably see them, I could see them anytime, but I can see them better when it gets darker. Don't come out. Now, this is what they call the dark half of the year when it's dark more than it is light. And in May, the first May day, getting the light half of the year, or Beltane. So, Halloween was the beginning of the dark half of the year, so. Which I don't like. All that. But you can't do anything about it. It's just life, I mean, you gotta deal with it. I used to see foxes here all the time. Um, there was a pair, I called them Sly and Snake. Um, and they would go over by the school over here. So way over that way. And they would go over there and they would, um, I think they would watch them play baseball or softball or whatever they were doing over there. Because I don't really know because I wasn't, I wasn't watching them. So I, of course I didn't know what they were doing. So I was like, just like, I would see them coming from that way when they heard us coming. The way I said watermelon for them was pretty cool. It was one of those things that, you know, I mean, it was just a little extra bonus for them. But it was kind of cool to be friendly, them kind of friendly. They wouldn't get real close, but they got close enough. I, I can talk a little quieter because I try and talk over the people that are walking by that are talking very loud. So I have to talk even louder than them. So everybody, yep, this is how it is. Sniffling all that junk down my throat. And I'm on medicine. I'm on antibiotic. It's a big, huge one. I don't, I should have said, <laughs> I should have said, give me that in liquid form. But I'm about to crush it up and drink it in water because it's too big of a pill for me to, for me to swallow myself. So. But, yeah, I me turn around a little bit so I can go see what I got to see, and it'll be good. Hopefully I'll see the barred owls. I haven't seen them in a while, but I haven't really been coming out here a lot, only because it's, I go out to Route 2 a lot. So, that's where I go. And it's going to get dark. And I don't really care because I'm not afraid of the dark. Actually, um, I can actually come. Somebody could drop me off inside of this place in the middle of the night. And I could actually find my way out without even without being blindfolded and everything. I find my way out. Why? Because I've been here so many times. And it's just it's kind of common sense to figure out which, which direction is which direction. Not that hard. So I'm going to get off here, I'll probably be back on when it comes time for the owls. We're going to be doing some owling on Friday, folks, so be sure to tune in. I'm going to be on my, um, my uh, channel, and we'll be having that going. So everybody, peace out, stay safe, I'll be back on.